Hey guys, welcome back to B-Bar Stat and Fact. I'm your host, Brian Barbeau. I do stats and facts about my four favorite sports teams. Toronto Maple Leafs, the Boston Celtics, the Indianapolis Colts, and the Hamilton Tiger Cats. Um, for, for, first off, before I get into the video, I want to commence that it has been one year since it is my one year anniversary um, uh, of having this YouTube channel. So happy one year. Uh, happy 4th of July to the Americans. And yeah, it's been uh, it's been an adventure this last year. Uh, we have uh, I've produced 55 videos, uh, 33 subscribers. Uh, fifteen thousand views in in YouTube Shorts. So my my and my and the, the dynamic of my channel has changed over the year too. So I used to just do in person videos, uh, talking about uh particular games or particular or profiling particular players. Now I do a combination of in person and I upload uh old footage and new footage of my uh that pertain to, like to my uh, sports team. So for instance, uh, I might uh. Upload a video of uh, like a highlight of, of Peyton Manning, or Jason Tatum, or Austin Matthews, or uh, Zach Caleros, uh, the old Zach Caleros when he played for the Thai Cats, and now he's a Winnipeg Blue Bomber. <laughs> so, happy one year to my YouTube channel. It's been a lot of fun, uh, a lot of challenges too. Uh, it's just like a full time job, you know. It's yeah. So happy one year. So I'm going to get into the video now. So I will be profiling. Boston Celtics star, one of my favorite players of all time, of the on the Boston Celtics. Celtics star, for power forward, number zero, Jason Tatum. Um, so Jason Tatum was selected uh, third overall in the twenty seventeen and NBA draft. Um, by the Celtics, uh, via, via a trade with the Philadelphia seventy uh, sixers. So let me tell you how this. Went down. The Celtics had a, a record of 53 and 29 that year. They were first in the Eastern Conference. They got booted out in five um, by the Cleveland Cavaliers the, with LeBron James and Kyrie Irving. The Celtics got eviscerated in five games. They were basically out, out manhandled. They were not the better team, uh, but somehow, some way, they got selected the first overall draft pick. Now, Usually, uh, a team getting the first overall draft pick, they usually uh, have the worst record, but the Celtics had the best record. So, they selected Jason Tatum. Uh, initially, we were going to go after Markel Fultz. This was, this was, a, this was a draft order in, in 2017. Markel Fultz, Lonzo Ball, Jason Tatum. So, we were selecting one. Philadelphia was selecting three. So um, the Lakers were number two. They were gonna. They were going after. They, they had their man. They had their man in mind. Uh, so it was lot, they selected Lonzo Ball. The Celtics select uh, make a trade and swap the number one overall pick for the third overall pick. So now the Celtics are selected selecting third. Philadelphia is selecting first. Uh, so the Celtics select Jason Tatum as opposed to Markel Fultz. What dividend is paid off? Uh, Danny Ainge, who was our GM at the time and former Boston Celtics great. What a trade. What a trade this was. Because this kid has been one of the best basketball players in the world for the last, since he started. Markel Fultz, he's playing on a, where is he playing? I think the Orlando Magic. Lonzo Ball. With the Chicago Bulls, hasn't really materialized as a player. Jason Tatum, stud. Uh, he was drafted. So he was drafted as alma mater. He was drafted from Duke University. Um, he has spent six seasons with the Boston Celtics. He's a four-time NBA All Star. Um, and last year, uh, he was named the inaugural Larry uh, Larry Bird uh, winner. Uh, the Celtics. Won the Eastern Conference Final in a Game 7 win against the Miami Heat. Uh, so Jason Tatum won the inaugural uh, Larry O'Brien. So which is the, 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 Larry the Larry O'Brien trophy is rewarded to the, the, the Eastern Conference um, uh, MVP. Tatum was selected. Um, in his first ever game, he recorded his first double-double. 
uh, in a 102-99 loss to the Cleveland Cavaliers. Um, another incident happened in that game. It was quite grotesque. I'm not going to get into it. It involved another Celtics player. Uh, he recorded his first double-double where he scored 14 points and 10 rebounds. Uh, those For those people who are unaware of what a double-double is, it is rewarded to the player who... So a double-double is, you know, two sugars and two creams in my coffee. No, I'm just, just kidding. It's where a player records at least 10 points and either 10 rebounds, 10 steals, or 10 assists. So Tatum had 14 points and 10 rebounds in that game. Uh, Celtics ultimately losing. Uh, in his rookie season, he averaged 13.9 points a game. Um, and this is 2017-2018. Doesn't this kid, this 19-20 this year old rookie, lead us to Game 7 of the Eastern Conference Final? Celtics and they were in a rematch with the Cleveland Cavaliers. Celtics were a much different team this time around. Uh, unfortunately, blew a 3-2 series lead, and the Cavaliers would ultimately go on to the NBA Finals, where they would get swept by the Golden State Warriors. Uh, in Game 7, uh, when the Celtics were trailing 71-67, to uh, Tatum uh, drove to the basket, uh, laid an emphatic dunk on LeBron James. And then you're never going to believe what he does subsequent to that. So he, he, he dunks on LeBron James. And then he, he turns to LeBron James after he's dunked on him. And then chest pumps the guy. I mean, this, kid, this kid's got moxie. Like, you don't do that to LeBron James. LeBron James does that to people. You don't do that to him. And I said, this kid is going places, man. This kid is special. He's not normal. He's a 20-year-old rookie. He's not normal. Now, like I said... Just alluded to a couple, uh, couple seconds ago. Um, Celtics ultimately losing in that game. Uh, but the future of this team is bright. And, uh, you know, in his six seasons that he's been with the Celtics, he has recorded 9,865 career points. It's 15th all-time in Celtics history. 3,069 rebounds. 1,448 assists. 488 steals. 303 blocks. In 439 games played. So this kid, he's 25 years old. He's already played 439 games in the NBA. Doesn't miss a game. Six foot nine. He just does does not miss a game. So, um, yeah, uh, he had 1112 points in his rookie season. Uh, during his playoff career, he's logged. What's even more impressive what is what he's done in the playoffs so far. So he's already played 94 career playoff games. He's 25 years old. Keep in mind, people, he's 25 years old. He's recorded 2,236 points in the playoffs already. Uh, 713 rebounds, 430 assists, 106 steals, and 87 blocks in 94 games. That is absolutely stupendous. And in six seasons, he's gone to four Eastern Conference Finals and an NBA Finals. I know he's one in three in them, but still. I mean, he's 25 years old. He's still, he's still a young player. He's had a tremendous amount of success already. And I think one day he will end up being one of the greatest Boston Celtics players of all time. And that's not hyperbole either. Uh, he's had seven career 50-plus point games. Um, that's a franchise record. Uh including Game 3 of the Eastern Conference first round in 2021 against the Nets. Jason Tatum put up a career-high 50 points. Uh, the Celtics were victorious, but however would lose the series. He has had one 60-point game, which is significant because that ties Larry Bird, that ties Celtics legend Larry Bird uh, for having at least one 60-point game in a career. That came, <laughs> believe it or not, in a 30-point comeback against the San Antonio Spurs in a 143-140 victory in overtime. Kid was unbelievable. Uh, he's had 22 40-point games, which is second all-time in, in uh, Celtics history. He's 107 30-point games, fourth all-time in uh, Celtics history. And... 
just this past year in 2022-2023, he averaged 30.1 points a game. Uh, no Celtic um, has ever accomplished that in, in their history. Taste Jason Tatum becomes the only person who averaged 30 over 30, 30 points a game during the regular season. So, yeah, um, Jason Tatum, everybody. Uh, disappointing loss in Game 7, but against the Miami Heat. But we were down 3 nothing, and no team in the history of the NBA has ever overcome a 3 nothing uh, deficit. Celtics become the 150th victim of it. Down 3 nothing, and to at least force a Game 7 on their home court. I like the way they fought. I really did. And Tatum was, uh, was unbelievable, including that 31-point performance in Game 7, Game 6 in Miami. Um, and uh, I almost forgot. How can we not forget the 51-point virtuoso performance, which was one of my YouTube shorts, against the Philadelphia 76ers in Game 7, uh, the second round. Um, special significance to that, he broke Steph Curry's. Um, guess who he served? Guess who he Oh, I just gave it away. He surpassed Steph Curry for most points in a seven-game series. Or, sorry, in a game seven. For most points. He now holds that record over Stephen Curry, the greatest shooter of all time. Incredible. So, uh, Jason Tatum, everybody. And, uh, yeah, so that's it for this video. Uh Thank you very much for watching. I hope you thoroughly enjoyed it just as much as I did producing it. Um, I'll be posting a, another in-person uh, date yet to be determined. Uh, video yet to be determined. But it'll be sometime soon. Um, the YouTube shorts, um, uh, the highlight videos uh, will be ongoing. So anyway, thanks a lot. Hope you have a great day. And ciao.